jump right in. So I think a lot of people here probably know what Facebook is. I think all of us know the social media platforms, the messaging platforms, but maybe Workplace not so much. So I'm just gonna have you quickly start out, explain to us what Workplace does, how you got here, what you do. Sure, so Workplace originally uh, was a product we built for Facebook employees to communicate roughly nine years ago when we launched Facebook Groups. Uh, but it, it became a product that we now sell to other companies and it became a business. Imagine Facebook or WhatsApp just for work, just with your colleagues or the people you have to, uh, to work with, separated from the other apps in the Facebook family of apps. It's a SaaS business, it's a new business for Facebook. We've been around for three years and we now have more than three million people who pay for the product every month. So three million daily pay paying users. Yeah. How big do you want that number to be? What's your target? What are you looking for? Well, you know, as, as many as possible. The ambition we have with, uh, with Workplace is to connect the world of work. What's very unique about the product and about the business we've built is that we literally grow one company at a time. When companies buy Workplace, when they deploy Workplace, they connect everyone for the very first time on the same platform, from the CEO to the accounting department to the front line, through people who never had an email, never had a desk, uh, never had a PC before. And that's a market of roughly 2 billion people that has been completely overlooked or ignored by traditional sales vendors. So one thing you've talked about is that people already know how to use the Facebook platform, so it helps onboarding with the product. What are some of the kind of use cases of this? How has it worked? Who, who's using it? Who are you looking at specifically from a client perspective? I think the, the part of the pitch, as you said, is that 2.5 billion people know how to use Facebook, and so they immediately know how to use Workplace which is fantastic as a SaaS entrepreneur. You have a SaaS product that doesn't require any training. People can use it immediately. What people do with the product though is very different. If the same product works for everyone, people from AstraZeneca don't use it like the CEO of Spotify is using it or don't use it like the, the frontline employees at Walmart are using it. I would say with the new generation of employees and the frontline people or the mobile only uh, employees, there's a lot of pictures, a lot of videos, a lot of live videos. Uh, but if you go to a company like Booking.com or even like Facebook, you see people doing proper collaboration on the platform, sharing documents, sharing files, commenting, iterating on docs, integrating Workplace with Office 365, with G Suite, uh, very different use cases. But again, the beauty of that product is that the very same product works for everyone in the company, every company, every geography and every industry. So let's talk about some of the competition because this enterprise work collaboration platform, it, it, you're not alone here. Yeah. How are you dealing with kind of the incumbents, so the Microsofts of the world, and then of course we've got newer players, Slack is one of the biggest ones here. I, li I like to think that Workplace is not your typical SaaS company. Uh, some of the companies you've mentioned uh, do want to connect as well. I would say knowledge workers, people like you and me who can pay 50 bucks, 60 bucks, 200 bucks per month for the latest and the newest communication applications. But I don't see anyone else going after the market we are going after, which is basically the 2 billion people who go to work every day with a mobile phone uh, in their pockets. Um, and I think that that ambition to connect everyone at work for the first time is something that is very unique to Workplace and that actually I think only Facebook can do because of the familiarity of, of um, the application and the fact that we already serve and connect millions of people. Um, so I, I see Teams and Slack fighting for that niche market of knowledge workers, which we try to do as well, but we play, I would say, a bigger game. We go after 2 billion people. What I love about Slack, though, is, is that they keep mentioning and highlighting the importance of user adoption, user sentiment, and the importance of best of breed IT. Mm. An IT stack where you have a bit of Microsoft, a bit of Workplace, a bit of Slack, Okta, Salesforce, ServiceNow, you name it. But this is really what resonates on the market and this is something that, that I would say we are very much aligned with. So in your view, it's not choosing one. There's a way in which these different platforms can work individually t together. Yeah, I mean, may the best one win. <laughs> uh, but it's not easy to get people who never had any sort of SaaS applications before to get to use a new tool. Mm -hmm. So we like to think of Workplace as the homepage, as the app you start with that will then take you to other places that are interesting for you. Could be Microsoft, could be G Suite, could be ServiceNow, could be SAP. Uh, and we think we can do that because of the familiarity of the application we have and the adoption we have. People who use Workplace love using it and use it a lot, which is something that I think is very different from a lot of the SaaS companies you've mentioned. 
well, you know, they don't necessarily care about adoption and satisfaction. Let's talk about cost, because one of the themes with some of the competitors is that their services are very, very low priced, sometimes even free. They're not making money. So are you making money? And how do you compete with such low prices in the, in the market? Yeah, we, we are making money. It's a business. It's a new business for Facebook. It's SaaS. It's subscription uh, revenues, which is a new muscle for us. Um, but I would say that we had to come with a very democratic pricing. Because we know that the reason why 80% of the people at Walmart or Starbucks or Heineken, uh, which are some of our clients, do not, do not have an email is because an email is expensive. It's between 4 and $5 per month per user. So if we wanted to be the first SaaS company to be able to serve and connect people who could not even afford having an email, we had to come up with a very disruptive pricing. So Workplace is $4 per employee per month. It's $1.5 for what we call frontline employees. As I said, you know, people who work in people who work in planes, people who work in retail stores, people who work in ships, nurses, firefighters. These are categories of employees that have been ignored by everybody else. But we are extremely proud to be building software for them and to serve and connect them every day. But we had to come up with, I would say, a creative pricing uh, strategy. You also recently announced the workplace will work with Portal, yeah. Facebook video conferencing um, hardware. Talk about your ambitions kind of in that video conferencing market, also very competitive. You know, we've seen newer companies there like Zoom, other players like Skype. So you have to think of Workplace as the first SaaS business and the first SaaS app built by Facebook, but there will be many others. In a way, we have Oculus Business as well that we announced a few months ago. We now have Portal. Uh, and a workplace coming on the portal app. So, you know, if you connect the dots, you can see the beginning of a proper B2B IT SaaS strategy, leveraging the investments and the resources that Facebook has, and video is one of them. I think by far, uh, Facebook plus WhatsApp plus Instagram is the number one video player in the world in terms of video minutes. You know, we're counting, you know, by the billions here. So we want to leverage these investments and that infrastructure that works very well today for 2.5 billion people you know, with your friends and your family, but adapt it and bring it to the world of the enterprise mm. uh, with Portal, with Workplace, but we also work with, you know, companies like Zoom, BlueJeans, where you can, for example, live stream on Workplace something happening in Zoom. But video, I think, is something where, you know, you can, you can expect a lot of things from us and where we are credible. No one would take us seriously if we were to, to build, you know, Facebook Docs or Facebook Storage. But when it comes to video, people know that we have, I would say, the investments the infrastructure and the credibility to be, a, to be a relevant SaaS player. Currently, those segments you mentioned, whether it's Workplace or Portal, just a small slice of Facebook's revenues, do you think that that's going to continue to grow? What's, what's your hope for how big you can be within the broader Facebook Well, that's, that's the challenge, you know, and that's, that's why we're doing it. Uh, and this is why we built like a SaaS startup within Facebook four years ago with Workplace. In a way, it's very similar to what Amazon did with AWS or what Google did with G Suite. They've built amazing, fast-growing, profitable SaaS businesses within what was originally a B2C company. It requires you know, different muscles, it requires a ton of things that a B2C company is not necessarily uh, working on. Uh, but I think I look at AWS and G Suite as, as the inspiration. Talk about kind of that relationship then. How do you operate as a startup, you know, as a innovative, smaller company within the umbrella of one of the biggest companies in the world? I would say the great thing is that Workplace is built in London. The entire product is built in London. One, London is our HQ, so it gives us a lot of autonomy. And it's great because we're building something new. You know, when we started Workplace four years ago, there was no one at Facebook we could go to and say, hey, teach me how to build a SaaS business. Teach me, teach me how to talk to a CIO, how to sell to HR, how to sell to comms, how to deploy software, how to play nicely with Microsoft, G Suite, so we had to try a lot of things uh, by ourselves, but at the same time, we inherit a lot of technologies from Facebook. Ultimately, every Facebook engineer is somehow contributing to our place, and this is why our customers literally feel that the product is getting better, faster, more secure all the time. We want to bring that speed of innovation, of consumer tech, to the world of B2B and SaaS. Um, live video is a good example. We built it for Facebook, we adopted it for Workplace. Same thing with Safety Check. 
we also have a lot of things that we ne don't necessarily take from Facebook. Like you cannot play Candy Crush on Workplace, which I think is great. No ads on Workplace, it's a different business model. And we also had to build a lot of things just for Workplace. Formatted posts, all the uh, administrative tools, analytics, employee sentiments, integrations, uh, all of that is only on Workplace and not yet on Facebook. So we get a lot from Facebook uh, because everybody in the company is obsessed by connecting the world. But workplace connects the world of work. Given, you know, there, you have the engineering prowess of Facebook, but you also have a lot of negative kind of sentiment around the company at the moment. Talk about, I'll talk about the issue of privacy first. So how do you assure your enterprise clients some of the issues we've seen around privacy with the consumers and users isn't a problem? You know, privacy and, and, and security and reputation, it, it's, it's, um, uh, in SaaS, it's extremely important. And we had to build our credibility in that new space for Facebook, one customer logo at a time, and one security certification at a time. Mm -hmm. So we get all the, secu the, the security and privacy certifications you will expect from a SaaS company, SOC 2, SOC 3, ISO, and, and all of that. Um, but more importantly, you don't get to serve and connect 100% uh, of the company at companies like GSK, AstraZeneca, the government of Singapore, uh, Starbucks, Walmart, Danone, if you're not you know, dead serious about security and if you don't have all the credentials these companies would expect. Again, that's not something we had when we started. We had to earn it, we had to build it, one certification and one customer at a time. But if you look at our list of customers today and who we get the amazing privilege to serve and connect, uh, I think we've been able to build a credible brand in the world of SaaS. And you know, we, op we openly talk about how we do things with Workplace, how it's different from Facebook, um, and why Workplace is a SaaS business, which is very new for us as well. Is it a concern that the companies raise with you? Is it something that you're working with them on all the time? Of course, but I would say they raise the exact same issues with Amazon or G Suite when they started. Because you, maybe people were not expecting to see a B2C company going after SaaS. And again, it's all about the, the security certifications you have and the customers we sell. And the customers we serve, especially in finance, in regulated industries or regulated uh, companies, uh, you know, they don't pick up SaaS apps lightly. We go through a lot of veri verification and, and checkpoints with IT, with legal, with HR, and with comms. And again, we get to serve the biggest, the most respected, the fastest growing companies on the planet. And again, we had to earn it. The other kind of concern we've heard recently is more on the competition front. And when you're talking about connecting billions of users now from the enterprise side, some people might raise alarms given what we've seen recently around the world. Ha would it be better to operate independently of Facebook? Should you be your own company at this point? No, we, we, we truly get a lot of benefits from being part of Facebook, not just the engineering power, uh, but also the resources we have and the passion from the very people who created that company for building communities. And that's what Workplace is about. We turn companies into communities and the most meaningful communities I've seen being built by apps in the Facebook family of apps are on Workplace. If you go and look at how Booking.com is using Workplace, how Save the Children is using Workplace, uh, you have some people who've never been connected before, especially frontline employees. So when they have a voice, when you give them an opportunity to be identified, to be celebrated, to be promoted, when you create an organization where the news travel faster uh, and where everyone feels connected, you know, that's, that's a good reason to wake up every day and this is why Facebook was created. You've chosen to have Workplace be headquartered in London, so I'm wondering if you can talk about kind of how that decision has affected your, your workforce and your growth. Obviously, some stricter regulations in Europe on both competition and on privacy, so how has that kind of shaped the growth of the, of the company? I think it was, it was a very good decision uh, because we wanted to build something new in a different place, so we also wanted to attract SaaS developers uh, who wanted to work for Facebook but wanted to work on, on SaaS products, again, inspired by what AWS had done before or by G Suite. So I think NetNet -Net is very positive. Uh, I like the fact that we started in Europe. I like the fact that our first customers were Booking.com, Danone, Club Med, Save the Children. Uh, the challenge for us now is to sell globally. And we now have customers you know, pretty much everywhere, in Singapore, uh, in, in Brazil, uh, in the US. Uh, but I would say the challenges we have today are the opportunities, are the very same opportunities that European entrepreneurs have when they go to the US or when they go outside of Europe. Uh, and it's fascinating for us to be able to exchange with 
European entrepreneurs in SaaS who are going through the, exa the exact same journey. Mm. We've seen, you've, you've been around this industry for a while and you've seen the workplace changing, so I guess in just our last kind of minute here, what do you see as the biggest challenge as the workforce develops when it comes to a, to a SaaS company? I think it's, the, the, it's a challenge, but at the same time, it's a fantastic opportunity, and it's a fantastic engineering uh, slash software challenge. How do you connect people who've never been connected before? People who just have a mo mobile device, could be you know, frontline employees or could be in emerging countries, who've been completely ignored or overlooked by traditional SaaS vendors, but who yet want to be connected, want to be productive, want to be collaborative, they want to use bots at work, they want to use integrations, how do you do that when you have the, the constraints of being mobile only and to be you know, part of a population that has been overlooked before? Um, that's a challenge we, we, we like to, uh, to take. And again, that's, I think, something only Facebook can do because we have a passion for connecting the world and connecting the world of work. But I think you will see a lot of companies who will think that connecting everyone for the very first time, creating a more connected company will become a competitive advantage. And that really resonates to uh, you know, the three million people who pay for workplace every month. No small ambition there. We will continue to watch very closely. Thanks. Thanks.